This is lesson 8.5. It's about adding and subtracting rational expressions. And in this first part, we will add and subtract simple rational expressions. So here we have two rational expressions, and we want to add them together. Since rational expressions are fractions, you know that you can only add fractions if you have a common denominator. So first thing we're going to do is factor the right side denominator, and then we'll see where we are with our denominators. So this denominator will factor as x minus 2 and x minus 1. So what we should notice right away is that our left fraction has x minus 1 as a denominator, and so does the right fraction. So that part we're all set with. But the right side also has an x minus 2, which the left side does not have. So we're going to have to multiply the left side by x minus 2. And anything you do to the denominator, you must also do to the numerator in order to keep your fraction equivalent. So then we will um, distribute the left side numerator. That will give us x squared minus 2. And we will combine that, add it to 2x minus 1. And that's all over our common denominator. So when we're combining here, um, we have a negative 2 and a negative 1 that are like terms, so those can be combined. And the other parts of the numerator should just be put in standard form. So x squared plus 2x minus 3 over x minus 1 and x minus 2. Okay, and then with fractions, you always reduce the fraction. So this numerator here can be factored. So we'll factor it as x plus 3 and x minus 1. And then we notice that we have an x minus 1 in the numerator and the denominator. We have that in common. So those can cancel. And we end up with our final answer is x plus 3 over x minus 2. Next, we have to state any restrictions on the variable. So we can't have the denominator equal 0 at any time. So we know that x cannot equal 1 because of the x minus 1, or 2 because of the x minus 2. and if we look through the rest of the problem, those are the only denominators we ever have, so those are the only restrictions. Here we have a subtraction problem. And just as with addition, you can't subtract unless you have a common denominator. So the first thing we will do is factor each denominator. And the left side denominator has a GCF of x, so we'll factor that out. So we have x times x minus 2. The right side denominator has a GCF of 2, so we will factor that out. So we have 2 times x minus 2. And then we will notice that both denominators have an x minus 2, so we're all set with that part. The left side denominator has an x, but the right side does not, so we're going to multiply the right side times x, top and bottom. And the right side has a 2 that the left side doesn't have, so we're going to multiply the left side times 2, top and bottom. So then we can distribute the uh, numerator factors that we just multiplied in. So we have 2x plus 4 on the left, and x squared plus 2x on the right. We want to keep the parentheses because we're going to be subtracting. We have to remember to distribute that. And then in the denominator, we have our common denominator of 2x times x minus 2. So we will distribute this negative into the second parentheses. And then we will combine like terms. So we have negative x squared. The 2x and the negative 2x cancel. And we have plus 4 over our common denominator. So then from here, we're going to um, 
take our x squared plus negative x squared plus 4, and we're going to factor out a negative 1. So that gives us x squared minus 4. And that's factorable because it's a difference of squares. So we will factor that as x plus 2 and x minus 2. And then that gives us a common factor, numerator and denominator, of x minus 2, which we can cancel. And finally, we're going to distribute the negative 1 back into the numerator, so that gives us negative x minus 2 over 2x. And that's our final answer. Then we have to state any restrictions on the variable. So looking at our common denominator, we cannot have x equal to 0, because that would give us a 0 in the denominator. We also can't have x equal to positive 2, because that would give us 2, or that would give us 0 in our factor, x minus 2. So that's addition and subtraction of rational expressions.